Hey, glad you came back to Pocket Ronnie. We're going to be talking about remote interior angles. So the first question I would ask is, what does the word remote mean? Remote means far away. Interior means inside. Okay, so remote interior angles. Here I have this triangle, 70 degrees. This is labeled angle one. This is angle two, and we're gonna call this exterior angle, angle three. Angle one and angle two are interior angles. They are inside the triangle. Angle three is exterior. It is outside the triangle. Let's just say I was standing at angle three. I'm standing there. From the perspective of angle three, angles one and two would be considered remote interior angles. Remote meaning they are the furthest from me. If I'm standing at angle three, then angle one and angle two are the furthest angles away from me but yet they are inside the triangle. One thing that we're going to find out about remote interior angles is that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle three. So for remote interior angles, we're going to learn that the remote interior angles can, will add up to be this exterior angle. Okay, the remote interior angles will add up to be that exterior angle. Let's take a look at this problem to prove that. We're on 23B, 16 through 18. We have this triangle with angles A, B, and C. Okay, let's look at angle C. We are told that this exterior angle is 132 degrees. What do we know about angle C and the 132 degree angle? What do we know about these two angles? This is a straight line. So, yes, therefore they are supplementary. So we can figure out what angle C is. Okay, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, angle C is 48 degrees. Okay, so we can already know that the measure of angle C is 48 degrees because these are supplementary. So can we figure out angle B? Yes, because these two angles are supplementary so supplementary to 84 degrees would be 96 degrees. So we know that angle B is 96 degrees. How many degrees are there in a triangle? 180, okay? There's 180 degrees in the triangle. So we can figure out angle A. So adding our 96 and 48 and then subtracting from 180 leaves 36 degrees. So we now know angle A is 36 degrees. So now can we figure out angle D? Yes, because those two angles are supplementary. So subtracting the 36 from 180, that leaves 144 for angle D. All right, now if we use the rules of what we know about remote interior angles, we can prove this, okay? If I'm standing right here at 132 degrees, from that perspective, these two angles are the remote interior. They're the farthest from me, but yet they're inside the triangle. So 96 plus 36 should equal 132, and it does. Okay, let's say I was standing somewhere else, okay? Let's say I'm standing over here at the 144 degrees. From the perspective of standing at this exterior angle, you're always going to be standing at an exterior angle. From standing at this exterior angle, the, the inside angles that are farthest from me are 96 and 48. So 96 and 48 should add up to equal 144, and it does. Okay, let's, see, let's say if I was standing at 84 degrees. The two angles that are remote interior angles to me here are angles A and C. They are the furthest from me and they are inside the triangle. So 36 and 48 should add up to 84 and it does. So that proves that the remote interior angles do add up to be that exterior angle.